presents this lady to be married to this gentleman? I do. Step right up, shake that hand. Thank you, sir. Give her a kiss. All right, thank you, sir. You may be seated, you may be seated in the audience. Put your arm through this. Yes. Back to this line. Come on closer. Come on closer, guys. Come on closer. Right beside mom. Right beside dad. There you go. Give me a little speech. <laughs> well, Gilbert County, what a wonderful day this is in your lives. It's a day of joy and celebration. And it's also one of the most meaningful experiences that any of us will ever have. And how great it is to know that the person standing by your side today loves you. And they have chosen you above everyone else to spend their life with. So what a happy day that you'll never forget <clears throat> as long as you live. And how wonderful it is to have your family and some friends that have joined with you. And our special guests today, Angelo and Jeremiah, are here to celebrate with us as well with big smiles on their faces. <laughs> How much do they pay you to smile? <laughs> There's a businessman right here. You know, there are many ways to express the love that you have for each other. And one of the best is just by loving each other unselfishly every day. I believe that when you truly love someone, that you simply want the very best for them. You enjoy seeing them smile. You want them to have a wonderful, happy life right alongside of you. And I believe that when you express your love often to each other, you'll end up having a home that's filled with love. You know, I think that's the only kind of home that there is. The rest are just houses, aren't they? But when you truly love each other, your home is one of the greatest places in your lives. It's a place where you can recuperate from stress, where you build an intimate relationship with each other, and where you share each other's hopes and dreams. It's also just a whole lot of fun to go home to someone you love. So may your home always be filled with love and laughter, friendship and kindness and caring for each other every day. It's also great to give gifts to each other when you're in love. And, you know, Gilbert, I found out a long time ago that ladies never get tired of receiving gifts. <laughs> you know, I found out they like diamonds and shoes. <laughs> or maybe diamonds on shoes. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> but you know, there are gifts that you can give to each other that are far more valuable than things. And the best gift you have for each other here today and every day is yourselves. What a great gift that other person is into your lives. And you can express that by just being each other's best friend, by loving each other through all the changes and the challenges of life by being open and honest as you communicate with each other. And finally, because we all disagree, you guys never disagree though, do you? <laughs> From the sound of this crowd, <laughs> maybe you do disagree. What a great gift for forgiveness is. I'm just checking to see if you're normal, that's all. And if you practice loving and giving, and forgiving every day. You'll have a great and a happy life together. And that's why you're here today, isn't it? So I trust that you remember that. Let me hold your flowers for a few moments. I'd like you to turn and face each other, hold both hands, and look into each other's eyes. And Gilbert, would you repeat after me? Turn the same way mom is right behind her dad. There you go. And Gilbert, would you repeat after me? I, Gilbert, take you, Connie. I give her a ticket to be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. In the good times and bad. In the good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In poverty and in wealth. In poverty and in wealth. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Don't worry, we all have trouble saying poverty. <laughs> 
for the rest of my life. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Thank you, Gilbert. Hi, Connie. Thank you, Gilbert. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. In the good times and bad. In the good times and bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In poverty and in wealth. In poverty and in wealth. Well, she said that easy, didn't she? <laughs> you know, Gilbert, you got it made. <laughs> For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Now, Gilbert, you have rings for Connie. <laughs> Will you take those rings, place them on her finger, and repeat after me? <clears throat> it's a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> With these rings. With these rings. I promise you. I promise you. My faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love. Take this ring. Place it on Gilbert's finger. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I promise you. I promise you. My faithfulness and love. My faithfulness and love. Now, buddy, if you step right over by the wall, you're fine where you're at. The two of you step right over in front of you. Come right over, side by side. Put your arm around each other's waist. That's it. Come around just a little bit more. That's good. As you take the two outside candles, go right ahead. Light the center candle together. It simply represents your love. I'm going to ask you to hold the, the boys' hands. Come on, everybody. Stand there and hold mom's hand. There you go. And let's have a word of prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, today we rejoice with Gilbert and Connie and Angelo and Jeremiah because of this wonderful moment in their families' lives. I pray that you'll help them to lovingly and joyfully, Gilbert and Connie, to keep the vows they have made today. May their friendship and their love continue to grow and prosper throughout the years to come. And may love and joy and peace be upon this household. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. And you can turn and face each other again. Hold, hold both hands so you look like you're in love with each other. <laughs> Gilbert and Connie, before God and these witnesses today, you have pledged your love to each other, shared your vows of how you plan to live your lives together in the future. And it's my privilege as a representative of the state of Nevada and as a minister to now pronounce that you are husband and wife. <laughs>